Hello and welcome. This is Nasir Afraz from civiltechnologyforyou.com and in this session I will cover the topic critical path method or CPM. So this is very important topic and if you are beginner in project management then you must know about CPM. Before getting into the topic we must know about some of the terms like activity, duration and predecessor. Here I have listed some of the activities like excavation, PCC, brickwork in foundation and DPC. These all are activities. Excavation is an activity and we need some time to finish this activity. The amount of time that we require to finish the activity is called duration. In real time, some activities need to wait until other to finish. The relationship between activities is called predecessor and successor. Here predecessor activity of PCC is excavation and excavation successor activity is PCC. Hope you understand activity, duration and predecessor. Here, in real time in project, experience civil engineer and planner used to define early start, late start, early finish, late finish, float and duration of every single activities. So in early start, it is the earliest time that an activity can start and late start, it is the late time that an activity can start. Early finish, it is the earliest time that an activity can finish and late finish is, it is the late time that an activity can finish. Duration I have explained already and float is the amount of time that an activity duration can strip without causing the project to be delayed. So hope you understand all. Here I have arranged some of the activities according to my table. So here the activity name, duration and predecessor. So I have arranged them according to this table and I, I have given the predecessor like activity C predecessor is A and D and E is B. So this activity C need to wait until A to finish. This is called predecessor. Okay. So the duration of the activities is here. And for example, we are starting this project at day one. So these two activities are starting at day at same date. So the early start of this activity and this activity will be day one. What will be the early finish of this activity? So the duration of this activity is four day. So it will be finished on day four. Or you can use this equation at the start plus duration minus one will give you early finish of the activity. So early finish the, of the activity B will be day nine. So what will be the early start of next activity? As this activity is finishing on day four, so this will be start on next day on day five. Or you can use this equation early finish of previous activity plus one will give you early start of next activity. What will be the early start of these two activities? as 10 will be the early start and what will be the early finish of this activity so we will use this equation so this will be 9 12 and 16 as we are moving to the another level as this activity is connected with these two activities so what will be the early start of this activity what we will take the value here 9 or 12 so we will take the greater value and we'll add one because this activity need to wait until these two activities to finish so activity D will be finished after this activity this activity will be finished or you can use the or you can take the greater value and take and add one to it so it will be day 13 so what will be the early start of this activity so this is 17 16 plus 1 will make 17 so early finish of these activities will be 27 and 25. What will be the early start of this activity? So we will take the greater value as we took before. So and we'll add one. So it is 28. Now early finish of this activity will be 32. The process we did here where we define the early start and early finish of the activities is called forward pass. In next video, we will do the late start and the late finish of the activities. And at the last, we will do the same example in the software. So I will see you in the next. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.